actually started a broadcast on time. Remarkable. Hi, folks. Welcome to the Money Mental UK YouTube channel. I'm your host, Andrew. I'm a part-time eBay reseller, a mental health advocate, and a man who likes spending lots of money on wholesale bundles um, to resell on eBay and hopefully make a profit. Today, I have a bundle that I picked up uh, as part of a deal from a Alt Vintage Wholesale. Um, I've linked to them below in the description. Um, it's a blind 10 kilogram bundle, 50% uh, um, unbranded vintage uh, and 50% branded. Um, I have no idea what's in this box. It cost me £104. Uh, I'm hoping that I will make some money on it. Certainly may have made some money on the last bundle I picked up from them uh, after selling only four items from it. Uh, and I had 23 items in that bundle, so I'm, I'm hoping to make some really good money on it. Hopefully this one will be the same again. Um, what I will do is we'll do a sort of live bit of research, etc. So I'll pull out items from the bundle, which is located down here. I have opened it in advance. Apologies for the mess as well. I'm in the middle of moving out of here into my new office. So there's stuff everywhere at the minute because I'm sawing it all out. But uh, yeah, so we'll pull out each item. It'll be a complete surprise to me as well as you what I've got. Uh, and we'll do a bit of live research on um, on the uh, eBay as well to see, um, you know, what potential uh, value I could list these items for and see if I'll be making a, uh, a profit on my uh, investment or not. But before we do that, let's say hello to some of our lovely viewers. Uh, we've got Laura was first in the chat. Hi, Laura. We've got Guns. Hi, Guns. And so far, that's the only people who've commented, but I can see there's a few more people watching as well. So um, feel free to say hi uh, if you want. Don't be shy. Um, right, let's get ooh, let's get the first item out. And it is a pair of Levi's jeans, 506, vintage pair of Levi's 506s. These are a waist 32, leg 34. Now, with these, uh, before listing, I do recommend taking your own measurements as well mm -hmm. because jeans can shrink over time. Um, so just confirm that it is still what it says, but these are in really good condition. Um, yeah, these are great. I don't think the condition comes across on YouTube but too well, but these are, um, for a vintage pair of jeans, these are in really good good condition and nice and clean and actually ready to list uh, as well um but as i say let's have a look on the ebay and see how much a pair of uh, vintage 506 jeans go for so i'm going to put the screen share on now i'm going to bring up the ebay and we'll see what we can find so here we go leave i'm just typing into levi levi's 506 um Vintage clothing and accessories are going to pick as my category. Um, so obviously condition used. Don't know why, but sometimes you get new stuff listed in the wrong category. I do know why people don't do it right. Um, if we look on sold items, um, a few jackets there. Uh, so somebody's got 35 there for a pair, 35, 29. Um, so in the vintage category, let's just have a look at those. That was a 31, 32, so slightly smaller size. 30, 32. So, yeah, 35 pounds, really good. Straight away, you know, the whole lot cost me 104 quid. We're on 35 pounds already. Can't complain about that. Um, you know, they might sell for less than that. 25 upwards, I'd be happy to accept. So, good little start there. Um, Right, just turn off the screen share, screen share for a second. We'll fetch up the next item. Ooh. What have we got here? Looks like we've got a denim jacket uh, from Diesel, uh, which is a really good brand. Uh, size large. Uh, now, I sold a Diesel lemon jacket, Diesel... I'll start again. I sold a diesel denim jacket 
uh, the other day um, for £22. But that was on an offer. I had it listed for about 30 but I took 22 on it to, to, to shift it. That was a size medium, so slightly smaller than this one. So I'm hoping again to get um, a similar level of return for this. But again, we'll, we'll check sold just to confirm on that. But I'm reckoning that this, this will be listed for about 30 Um We'll have a look at the stream. Go on the screen share. Uh, diesel. Denim jacket. And clothing. Large. Uh, always sort by highest. Condition. Used. Let's get rid of those new ones. Um, I see we've got some there. That one's gone 45. These are sort of Sherpa ones. We've gone for about 40 quid. We've got 30 quid plus 35 quid there. That one looks the same as this. So yeah, probably list this one for 34.95 free shipping. Probably aim to get sort of 25 to 30 quid on it because I'll have best offer on. So that's great. You know, we're we're just on two items. We're we're sort of almost halfway towards the cost of the bundle so you know that is fantastic next a pair of shorts just a pair of nike um jogging shorts uh, size medium so that's an okay size um probably do with wearing these myself actually but yeah um so yeah pair of nike jogging shorts slightly out of season now as we're getting into winter for them hi carl by the way but um, probably still a few quid in them. So let's have a look. Uh, like, I'll try jogger shorts as the search term. Uh, men's clothing. Uh, condition is used. I don't know how many items yet in total guns. I haven't got to the bottom of the box. It's, it's 10 kilos worth of stuff. So um, I would have no idea how much in total. Oh, I've had a sale. Freaking just right, the Death Dragon gone out. Uh, right, these are all bundles. Bundle that's two pairs. Uh, those are dry fits. Do the joggers. So 20 quid there. Uh, going for about 20 quid. I think I'd probably go slightly lower than that. Probably go for about 15 quid on them. Let's see where they end up. Sort of 14.95 free shipping. I think I'll go for on those. They're in good condition again, so not too shabby. Yeah, I've made some good money from it, to be fair. Um, hi, Peter. I'm not buying any more. This is, um, I've got boxes and boxes of stuff from the wholesalers that I haven't gone through yet. Uh, next, ooh, feeler. Feeler, long sleeve polo shirt, nice vintage pe feeler there. Again, good condition item. Uh, looks like it's probably a large, but yeah, just a nice. You can tell it's vintage by the label as well. So it's like a nice item. Now, I've sold something similar to that for 15 quid before. Um, but we'll just have a look. Find here, we used. Uh, they've got 12 quid. Not a lot of people have put them on, there's not many results for it. I, I would probably list it for 19.95 and take offers. Uh, that's a similar sort of thing. If we took out the vintage, feel a long sleeve polo uh, and go on soles without vintage in the title. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the same one that I've got there, which has gone for £15 plus shipping. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much 
pretty similar to what I've got there. So fifteen pound plus shipping. So I'll probably shoot for about seventeen ninety five free shipping. So again, not too bad there. Uh, what have we got next? I definitely recommend Vault if you're looking for some stuff. Oh, very nice. Pair of Ralph Lauren Polo golf trousers. Um, I do really well selling these. Um, they, I, I, these are definitely something I look out for because these tend to sell fairly quickly. Um, so I'm really pleased to see these. Um, let's see if we've got the... Uh, the size in here. Um, I can't remember where I put it now. Double check the size on that anyway, but they are really nice. These are just quality, quality trousers uh, as well. Um, to the extent that if they fit me, they may not make it um, to be uh, 36, 32, just too short. I'm a 36, 34. I felt the waist was right, but yeah. Uh, Couple of edges too short for me, so these will get listed. But again, really nice uh, item to find there. I'm pleased with that. Um, I'll give you an idea of the value on these now. They they just there's loads of them. Um, but so uh, Ralph Lauren Polo, what have we been more than three hundred quid? Um, I paid under four quid for this lot. They've got twenty percent off sale on at the minute as well, um, which is applied at checkout. Or used, solds. They're pretty much similar to these that have gone for twenty five quid. I think twenty five is a is a fair asking price um, for the quality of them. Some people slightly less, twenty quid plus postage. I would list them for twenty four ninety five. And I'd take, I'd be looking to get as close to that as possible, to be honest. I'd be looking to get about 20 quid at least, uh, free shipping on those. So, yeah, really pleased with that. Um, Ralph Lauren's one of my favourite brands to sell because it just um, sells so quickly for me. Uh, this is another nice item here. Nike uh, vintage uh, zip-through jacket. Uh, dry fit, size medium, unfortunately, because if that was my size, I'd be keeping it. Now it's got this logo on the side of it. Try to see if I can get this on camera. This is RF, so, or something. I'm going to have to look up that logo because that could positively impact on the value. Um, little dirt mark on it. That's fine. That just needs a sponge on it. In fact, that's gone now. Um, it's just from being in the, the box. Um, yeah. I need to find out what that logo on the side means. But if we just go for a standard vintage Nike um, tracksuit top, when we do the search, I'm anticipating at least, you know, 15 to 20 quid on it. Um but I need to look up that logo that's on the size. Oh, Roger Federer. I think it's Roger Federer. I'll try, I'll try and have a look at that and see if we can um, get something on that uh, in the search. It's good for now in the chat. Hi, Grant. Don't worry about it. I, I, I nearly fell asleep too. Uh, Nike, Roger, Federer. Can't spell Federer. Jacket that condition used. There's one there, it's gone for 49 quid um, plus shipping, so 60 quid. Uh, nearly there. That, that well, that's that's in Poland, so we can knock off that postage and say 50 quid. Um, so look at the logo. Yeah, it's the same logo. You're spot on there, Michelle. Fantastic. So, yeah, well, that that's brilliant. That's straight away, that is almost half the haul paid for, or, or just on one item. That's going to go on for 50 quid. Hopefully, I'll get sort of 40 quid upwards on that. Might might sit there for a while, but 
Wow, that's just an amazing find. Excellent. Excellent. So, yeah, Roger Federer. Uh, who knew? Well, we'll get that one on. Right, next. Ooh, nice pair of um, Timberland uh, shorts here. Not sure on the at size 31, so a 31 waist there. Timberland shorts, nice sort of cargo pants style shorts. Probably 15 quid again, I would say, on those, but we'll have a look. Uh, get the screen share on. You do. Timberland shorts. Vintage clothing. Uh, condition used. Uh, sold items. Buy it now. See, I don't know why t shirts come up. I'm just going to switch the category to shorts. I've got 15 quid there. Um, it's about what I thought. Those are similar to these. They've gone for 21.50. The list is 21.50, but they're on a offer. 12 quid will do, do highest because a lot of people don't know how to look at souls when they list stuff either. Um, well, they've gone for 30 quid. Um, those have gone for 25 plus shipping. Uh, 25 plus shipping. So I, I'm going to say, tw I'm going to probably list these shorts 24.95 free shipping. So that, again, that's brilliant. So just on those few items we picked out already, you know, potentially already well into profit um, on the whole. So, you know, that, and I've still got more than half of it to go through. So let's see what other things we can pick up here in this uh, mystery box. And next we've got a gelée. Um, oh, is this Eddie Bauer? Oh, 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 right. I've got to show you this. Hang on. This is amazing, right? Let's see if we can get this on camera. So Teddy Bauer, which is a good good make to go for, um, especially on Depop, for the vintage sites. But I don't know if that'll focus in to say that it's actually... Hang on, let me just clean the camera. Don't know if that's going to focus, but it says Goose Down. So this is actually a down and Goose Down as well. Um, gelée. So that just adds to the value. Um, the insulation is just all goose down, so that is just that's brilliant. Uh, it's only a size small, but you know, a goose down Eddie Bauer chalet, bit of parcel tape on there, goose down Eddie Bauer chalet. I mean, come on, you're not going to complain at that, are you? See what. We can find uh, here. I don't know if there'll be any uh, listed, to be honest, but we'll have a look. Down. Gelea, Max Belt Gelea run there. 25 quid. Uh, one's gone for that. Size large, so, you know, it's a slightly better size. Uh, somebody's listed one there for 35 quid in the same size as I've got. And, and to be honest, I would probably push for 35 quid on this because of the time of year, etc. It's a quality item. The condition on it is good. It's a nice vintage piece, you know, so I'm probably going to push for 35 on that as well. There's even a little feather there from the down. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I can't complain about that at all. Um I suspect we're probably moving away from the branded stuff now. I think the branded is going on. Oh, I'll tell a lie. There's another branded item here. Uh, a Nike size large tracksuit top. Really nice uh, sort of navy blue colour. Um, this is just a standard one. But again, vintage top tip, by the way, for telling if an item is vintage, is if when you check the labels on it 
so your, your care label, etc. Um, I can't remember if I actually put the year on or not, but when you check the um, the labels, the care label, the branding, etc., if there's no website address on it, so no www.nice.com, then it's a vintage item. There isn't on this one. So no website means this is very much a vintage um, tracksuit top. So I can I can, can convincingly sell that as a vintage item as well. Um, so if we have a look, uh, Nike vintage. Um, we'll put tracks. We'll put tracksuit top as the search term. Uh, condition used. Um, now I won't go by highest on these because um, there's various different uh styles etc you can get i'm just going to go uk only on the item um so you know those sort of ones there that's similar to it 25 pound plus shipping uh one there 20 quid plus shipping uh, 20 quid plus shipping so yeah it's probably looking about 22.95 that i would um I would list this for so again brilliant you just you know there's hundreds of hundreds of pounds here um so yeah 22.95 on that one uh, well this is a brand that got me v-rolled um because i used their pictures there's unbranded stuff so i'm gonna need the, the unbranded is better for depop still sells on ebay uh just takes a while but yeah um Really, if you're doing vintage, Depop has quite a good market for it. Um, eBay has a market for it, but not as good as for the branded stuff. People tend to look for branded clothes more on eBay. Um, I've got other plans for vintage stuff as well that I'm going to move to in the future, but the time being, I focus on eBay and Depop with it. Um, this is a Hollister uh, stripy shirt. Uh, size large. Um it's just a nice size large Hollister striped shirt. Hollister not as good in value as it used to be, to be honest. Um, so I'm, I'm fully expecting that this will be about a, tol a tenner. Um, Hollister striped shirt, see if that comes up with anything. Uh, let's go men's. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, those are new. Uh, I'll wait for the lag to catch it. Actually, I'll just close Facebook. Here we go. Can't click on condition at the minute because the internet's being too slow. Um, those are new, 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 new. Going for about 12 quid. Uh, that one's similar to one I've got. It's gone for 14.95 and that was used. So, yeah, 14.95, free shipping. That's okay. Happy enough with that. That's worth listing for 15 quid. Um, cool. Right, I think we're moving towards the uh, the unbranded vintage. No, no, I'll tell a lie. Got a vintage champion. Oh, hang on, take the screen share off. I've got a vintage champion shirt here. With some nice detail there on the, I don't know if I can see, if you can see this. Some nice detail there on the sleeves. Uh, not single stitch, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it is double stitch, but size small. But still, this better for Depop. Probably put it on for 12 quid or so on Depop. On eBay, 9, 10 quid. It's not, it's not something as, as sought after a brand on eBay as it is on Depop. So that's a Depopper. Can't show your souls on Depop, unfortunately, because just it doesn't work that way. Um, what have we got here? Bloody hell! So another vintage Columbia uh, jacket here, it's like a waterproof jacket. Nice bit of padding. Again fleece lined can't tell you the size because that's that's worn away with it being um 
you know, a vintage item. But that's really cool. Um, that probably more of a market for on eBay. So we'll have a look at that. Vintage uh, champion jacket. And clothing. Uh, condition used because people still put stuff as new in the vintage category. Don't ask me why. I mean, fair enough, actually, there are sometimes you do pick up vintage stuff that's new. Uh, it's going to be a hard one to find a comparable to, really. I'll go highest, only 64s. You won't always find something, especially with vintage clothing, that looks the same as what you've got. So don't be discouraged. Just try and find something a bit similar. That's 25 quid plus postage, kind of similar. Um, yeah, 25 quid. Uh I'll probably go 24.95 free shipping on this, but probably actually push for slightly higher on Depop because, as I say, there is a better market for it on Depop than there is on um, eBay. All right. Oh, I love the look of this. Look at this. Whoa. Now that is a really nice vintage sort of crazy pattern um top this is part of the unbranded but what a jacket that is what an absolute beast of a jacket um deep up 30 quid on that ebay or go uh, it, it will get cross-listed on ebay but this is more for the deep up market but just look at that piece absolutely brilliant absolutely look at the quality colors on that uh vintage items like that especially the unbranded ones don't tend to have size labels on that one hasn't got a size label on not a problem you've got to measure it anyway for listing it because buyers like to see the measurements so when you've measured it you can work out the size roughly equivalent from the um measurements you take them oh this is cool as well Here we've got a vintage Fruit of the Looms, single stitch. Yep, single stitch. Holland basketball t-shirt. I mean, that is so cool. Right. It's a, again, it's probably going to be a bit of a unique item. I doubt we'll find anything similar to it on ebay but we'll have a look see what we can find i mean you know i'm gonna go for probably 20 25 quid at least on that anyway just because it is and it's fruit of the loom single stitch holland michigan excellent t-shirt yeah, I didn't think there'd be any comparables on that. Uh, take out the Holland. Can't even find anything under that. Uh, no, I'll probably put it on. Let's check that's not. Oh, I've sold uh, another item. Um, I'm, I'm going to shoot for 30 quid on it uh, and see where I end up. Because um, I just think that's such a cool item. Um, that's, you know, a genuine vintage piece. It's extra large as well. So, you know, it's actually in my size, but I'm not keeping it. I will sell that on. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put it on for 30 quid. Grailed FAQs. Have I left in selling on Grailed? I, I haven't, no. Um, purely, I, I haven't got the time. And I'm just about keeping on top of me eBay and me Depop at the minute. Um, but I may well do in the future. Um, now that I've got my new office, and once I've got that set up, 
then it's definitely an option because if I'm going to get more stuff like that, it's the sort of stuff that sells well to the um, the American market, as, as Michelle says. Oh, look at this. Another vintage single stitch T-shirt. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, there's no point in looking these up because, you know, these are fairly unique items, but... Oh, no, it's not, it's not single stitch. It's not single stitch. That's what I like. It is double stitch. Uh, what's this? Clyde Flyers Playoffs 2013. So a nice piece of Americana there. Um, I'm going to say, you know, 15 quid or something like that on it. Uh, that I'll list it for. Hope to achieve close to that. So another brilliant item. Oh, oh, this is cool. I'm actually like more excited by the unbranded stuff in this haul than I am the branded because we're getting some stuff from America, uh, which um, I didn't get last time because the, the American shipments were taking longer to reach vaults. And I, I love, just personally, I love the American vintage stuff. Uh, it excites me more than the Italian or German, even though it all sells the same. It's just I like the culture uh, 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 and uh, uh, all those aspects of it. And, and this, look, just a really cool America Eagle T-shirt, um, unbranded, but, again, just such a cool T-shirt um, that I will put on Depop for 15 quid. Jacket would sell like that. Yeah, fair dues. Uh but yeah, that is just again really cool vintage t-shirt. Single stitch as well. Um, so I might even ask a bit more for that. Epic. Oh, this is wow, wow, wow. Oh, please be in my size. What size are you? Oh, yes, I've got a new hoodie. This isn't even going to get listed. Just look at this beast of a hoodie. Thank you, Alex and Lawrence, for this one. Zealand East baseball hoodie. Uh, but just look at that. That That is my new hoodie. Size XL. Thank you very much. I'm keeping this, well, I don't know, 25, 20, 25, 30 quid. But... I don't want to sell it. I want to keep this one. Really want to keep this one. It's just so cool. Just just look at that. That is just an epic, epic hoodie. I got this hoodie in America as well, a Bazinga one. Uh, I do like the American clothing. So, you know. Oh. So we're back on the Italian, but Sherpa lined denim jacket. Look at that line in there. That's quality. Absolute quality. So, yeah, vintage Sherpa denim jacket. That's got to be 20 quid. Got to be. It, actually, I should look up the brand on it rather than assuming it. Tan, Tangerini. Is the brand? Um, there might be something listed. We did find that one of the the brands that Alex thought was unlisted, uh, what well, was unbranded, was actually selling on eBay. Hi Ray, yeah, uh, definitely, yeah. Okay, so this, that's not a. It's as I thought, not a a brand. Um, vintage denim, vintage Sherpa. Denim jacket, screen share on. There we go. Pretty sure denim jacket. Uh, we'll go lowest price this time because so it's unbranded. Condition used. Um, sold items. 
twenty. You could go twenty five, thirty quid. Those are branded ones. Uh, there we go. Forty quid there for an unbranded one. Um, so it doesn't seem to matter about the fact that it's not branded. So yeah, maybe I should shoot for about thirty five quid on it and see where we end up. Um, more money. Um, I think. Oh no, there's one more. One more item in here. Uh, oh, this is a beast. Look at that. I sort of Nova Check style as well. Just a big, heavy overcoat. Uh, oh, Dunning Co. Excellent. Vintage Dunning Co. Very nice. Oh, top. Uh, hang on. Cashmere as well. Uh, epic. Epic. Uh, I don't know if that'll come through on the camera. Uh, yeah, it's not really going to come through. Oh, yep, yeah, it's focused. Just there, uh, top twelve percent cashmere. So a cashmere mix, vintage Dunning Co. coat. But does this bad boy fit me? It's just a little too short for me, so it's a size large, but. What an epic, epic coat this is to end on. Um, no, 50 quid maybe. Maybe more. That's, that's it. That's the same sort of jacket I've got. 40 quid plus shipping. absolutely perfect that, that's it that is the coat i'm now wearing dunning co very wall 12 percent cashmere so it's mixed it is exactly the same coat i've got that's gone for 40 quid plus shipping that's unbelievable what well sorry hang on i haven't got it on the stream right so take back here you go here is the coat same coat i've got exactly what i'm wearing now good condition the nova check the sort of tweed effect look to it Dunning Co, 12% cashmere. Um, just uh, epic, epic coat. They put extra large. It's not 46 inch chest on a coat, it's large um, because a coat obviously has to allow a couple of inches for you to have a jumper underneath it. Um, so don't make the same mistake that they have there. But they put the measurements in, so it's not too much of an issue for them because whoever's bought it can see the pit to pit length. They put everything in there. But just keep in mind that this would be a large rather than an extra large. This is the same size as what I've got. It's exactly the same sort of coat. It's gone for 40 quid plus shipping. Obviously, I'll push for 45 um, because they've got full asking price on that. So I'm going to put mine on for 44.95. We're getting that was in August as well. So I might even put it on for 50 because we're a lot cold, colder now. Um, so yeah, I'll put mine on for 50 quid. And see where we end up. Hi, Karen. Good morning to you. Um, so yeah, what an epic haul. Uh, let's try and total this up then. 45 quid for this, I say 35 for this. These prices are including shipping. So, got a list for 45, 35. Can't even do maths. That's 80. I'm going to keep this, but if I was listing it, probably shoot for 25 say 30 say 25 on it so that's what oh god i've already forgot 45 35 80 105 quid those three items covering the cost nice vintage single stitch t-shirt we'll say 15 quid on that 120 uh nice piece of americana here 2013 playoffs t-shirt we'll say 15 quid on that 135 Vintage single stitch, fruit and loom, good piece of Americana. So 25. So that's what 155 quid now. 30 quid on this. It's 185. Can't remember what we said on this now. We'll say we'll say 25. So that's 190, 220 quid. Um this champion t-shirt, we'll just say a tenner on that, 230 quid. 
Hollister shirt, 15 quid, 245. Bear in mind, I spent 104 quid on the whole bundle. Um, standard night jacket, I'll just say on that, I'll say 20, 20 quid. So, so what, 245 quid now. I'll say 35 on this. So 270. 25, 295. 40 quid on this. 335. Um, 25 quid on these. That's 340, 360. 20 quid on those. 380. Um, 35 on the jacket, so that's 415. Say so 30 on the jeans, 450, 445. We'll say roughly 445 quids worth of listed value um, from 104 quid box. Now, knock off your postage costs. Most of these will have to go Royal Mail, small parcel tracked. Um, knock off your eBay fees, etc. Um, taking into account the fact that I'll probably take offers on stuff, I'm still probably looking at about 200 quid profit from this one box, which is absolutely amazing. So, yeah, um, spent 100 quid, don't know how many items there are, maybe 20 items, but you know, potentially a 200 quid profit there. Um, really, really pleased with that, and and you know. Just, I want to keep this coat, but I can't because it doesn't quite fit me. It's just a little too short, but I've got a hoodie, so, you know, I'm not to complain. Even taking the hoodie out, still close to 200 quid profit uh, on that, so really pleased. Highly recommend uh, Vault Vintage to pick up from. And uh, those of you who are in the Money Mental Facebook group will already be aware of this. Those that aren't, why not? Go join it on Facebook. Just put Money Mental reselling group into facebook and it'll come up um but th those of you in the group will already be aware of that i've been working behind the scenes with uh, the vault vintage guys um they've been pulling together uh, an ebay branded mix of stuff that they can pick up that doesn't do so well with traditional vintage outlets like bricks and mortar stores uh depop and vintage websites and such like but brands that seem to do really well on ebay and um, perhaps appealing more to the type of clientele that uses ebay so pull together this branded mix which hopefully should be going live on monday uh 15 pound a kilo but you've seen the kind of you know value of the stuff that you get in a vault vintage bundle so i would definitely definitely be buying some of those bundles when they go live even though i've got enough stuff already i will be putting an order in for a bundle uh, and I've I've asked the vault to send me one to review as well, so you guys can see what sort of stuff you get from it. But yeah, I'm just I'm definitely going back to them to get more stuff because this is just amazing, um, absolutely amazing, just quality stuff that you know. There's not one item in there that I'm unhappy with, um, really. To be honest, there's stuff in there that will flip quickly. There's stuff that will take a bit longer, but will command a higher price. So really happy um that's it from me thanks for watching folks hopefully you found the stream useful uh let me know what you, your thoughts are on it comment below and do like and subscribe as well uh, if you've not done so already thank you everyone in the chat for joining us uh, brum reseller gary gimbal just popped in as well jennifer's here so apologies for not spotting that right ray was here as well so Thank you, everyone, for – thank you, Karen. I do like the coat as well. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. This coat fit me. I'll be keeping it. And I'll see you all on the next stream. Um, bye for now.